His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. You know, sometimes it's difficult to adopt pets, cats included, because, you know, when they rescue them, you go to check them out at the uh, at the centers. And they're, they're like in the back of the cages because they're like, I don't really like people. So at like the it. centers. The centers for adoption. Some cats like people. I'm telling the story, okay? <laughs> so anyway... So Jackson Galaxy, you've heard of him. He has a show. He's a, a big cat person. Never heard of him. But He's, since you have the strong feeling for cats, I oh understand yeah, you know him. We pal around. He came up with this great idea. You probably heard hashtag high fives save cat lives. Huh? Every day. Every yeah, day. Yeah. So. <laughs> heard of that one. That's, what, always, that's the one that the Galaxy guy yeah, has. Yeah. yeah. I use it when I'm on, on, on the Twitter. So... <laughs> Turns out it's something simple. You just teach the cat to high five, and they're adoptable. It's that simple. <laughs> I, I believe I uh, I have Jackson talking about this. Shy cats, coupled with the normal stress of a shelter environment, makes those cats less adoptable. By teaching cats simple tricks like the high five, we can engage them constantly, keeping them sharp and in the present moment, and yes, happier, raising adoption rates around the country. See, it's true. Even Allison learned to high five. I taught Jim to high five. She's much oh, that's more great. approachable now. And we've uh, we've seen that Jim has been happier. Yeah, I have. So that's been. good. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it, it has helped thousands of cats be adopted because that's great. if you go in there and a cat said, "Hey, high five. high five," exactly, you want to adopt the thing. You yeah. bonded automatically with that cat. Until after a week at home, it just keeps high five. <laughs> like, stop! Stop! Get off of me! <laughs> But other than that, they get adopted pretty quickly. That's my, very nice. My son even knows about the high-fiving cats. He said something about that the other day, and I said, how do you know about that? I was talking to him. Oh. Yeah, Jim updates a lot of people. We're going to have to stop that. All these strong feelings <laughs> for cats that a lot of people have. Yeah. Oh, you don't want Jim to talk to your kids? <laughs> okay, I, I, I totally get you on that. Uh.